So we got our pinky pressure, we got our outside step, we're sliding by, then we got our bump, which is kind of like our shrug, shrugging my shoulders, stepping outside, popping them off, shrugging my shoulder, and then we did our little, little bicep lock. You got, you got kind of long arms, I can lock in on my bicep right here. Outside step, lock in on my bicep. Same thing, I'm shrugging, popping them off. This just gives me a little better pride point. Um, now, a lot of times when we're wrestling tough guys, anytime I'm by him, he's not gonna stay here. He's gonna get his left elbow back in between, and he's gonna try to square and take away the angle that I just stole. So all we're gonna do is we're gonna go back with our pinky pressure, okay? We're gonna beat him with the slide by. He's gonna start catching back up. I wanna stay connected. So when I'm talking about staying connected, I mean hands on, some type of way. Okay, so I'm pinky pressuring the armpit. You can stay on the collar tie from the jump or go to the shoulder pressure, all right? I'm gonna step, I'm gonna guide him by, and then as I start to guide him by, he's gonna circle and square. As he starts to circle and square, I'm gonna recognize my feet, his feet, my position, and if I got an attack, okay? A lot of times as he's running away from the side I'm attacking, we'll get a backside single. All right, maybe it's a low single, maybe it's a snag single, but I want you looking for a secondary attack because you might be one of those guys, you're average at this, but you get a bite on it, right? You get this guy to react to it. So I might, I might never get a really clean slide by in a high level match, but I might get an angle to get to a leg attack. And maybe I got a really good single and an average slide by. Well, man, that's pretty cool. That's a pretty cool combination. I can make this guy run away and then I can really get to where I'm good at. So that's where you guys can't kick loose technique that you're just okay at. Because you might take an okay technique with a really high level technique. Man, you might be able to combine those to be a really, you know, kind of killer concept. But again, if I slide by and I'm all twisted up and I'm not ready to shoot, then I'm in trouble, right? So I gotta make sure as I step and I start to guide him by that as he squares, my feet are set. Okay, can't shoot from here. Can't be all out of shape, but if I'm here, man, I can get a little cheat step if I need to. Right into a snag. If I'm a big guy and I don't want to go under him, I can snag. Maybe I'm bumping him off. Bumping him off, slide off. Right here to a single leg, all right? We ain't got too many low single guys here today, but maybe I bump him off, he runs away, right into my low single, okay? Then I'm into my collection. So all I want you to do is use your slide by to create some type of backside attack. Be as creative as you want. This guy, you should be thinking about elbow in between and square it up. Don't do anything ridiculous, all right? Just get back to where you normally would. Questions? Anybody need to see it again? One more time. So we're doing both techniques, our shrug and our slide by. Every time it's still big step, don't take a tiny step because you want to be able to set your feet for your secondary attack. If I just do this, he's not going to react at all. I got to give him that. I got to give him that feel. Okay? Maybe I change hands to a scene, to a to an ankle pick. Okay? It's all kind of options there. All right? Read his reaction. Take take note of your conditions and what your attacks are. Go. Cool. 